How's everyone doing? This is gonna be my first unboxing of the Horror Block. It's my first time getting this right here. For those of you who don't know what the Horror Block is, it's from Nerd Block. It's a horror subscription uh, service where each month they send a box of horror goodies out to you. It's kind of like loot crates. There's a whole bunch of them going around right now, uh, but I checked out a whole bunch of unboxings on YouTube and this was the one that seemed the best out of all the different ones that I've seen uh, so far. So I decided to go ahead and get this one and each box comes with a, every month it comes with a magazine of Rue Morgue and it comes with a t-shirt as well, random t-shirt and all kinds of other goodies like it has a Funko Pop thing I think every time as well, at least the ones that I've seen, uh, different things on here. Uh, I haven't opened it up yet, I cut the little tape part right down there at the bottom and the thing is though they actually say what's on here on the outside box which kind of gives it a gives it, gives it away a little bit and it actually says the value of each item too. Oop, just hit myself in the mouth. Womp womp. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and show this to you right here. It ships from Canada. Right there. And here's all the different items. I'm going to cover up what they are so you don't see them, but it gives you a breakdown of them. I'm kind of surprised. It says total value is $21.49, which you pay, uh, it's $30.99. And I actually got another charge of $0.93 cents too, so it's really, you know, like $32 worth. So maybe value-wise it isn't that worth it. I don't know. We'll see what's in here. Uh, well, I kind of know what's in here looking at the thing. It doesn't say the shirt though and this is well it doesn't say something it says some stuff but not everything um so yeah i'm basically gonna see if this is worth it i don't know kind of like a shoebox design right here recycled box so that's good so yeah um i was actually kind of disappointed because i really wanted to get the one last month and i was thinking maybe i still will have time to get in on it but they ship like a month in advance so i got charged for this july 7th it is now august 2nd so <laughs> there you go. Takes a while to get to you. And another thing too, like I said, it ships from Canada. I'm in New Jersey. It's not that far away. But I had a friend on here uh, actually get it before me, like a few days before me. And they're in Texas. I'm like, that's way farther away. Oh well, I can't complain. But let's go ahead and check this out. Right there, the horror block. A little bloody handprint. All right, let's open this bad boy up. All right, I see something cool right here. I'm just gonna show you the t-shirt first. Oh, I'll just go ahead and show you. There's how it opens up right there like that. Just, you know, like a box would. And there's some of the stuff. And the first up thing is the t-shirt right here. Uh, this, I've actually seen unboxing already of this month. So I, it looks like most of the stuff is gonna be the same. Uh, there's a couple of like the little mini toys that are different, but the t-shirt is the same. The Rue Morgue magazine is the same and the Funko Pop is the same. So I'll go ahead and show you the t-shirt. I think the t-shirt's pretty darn cool. Let me just lay it out here for you so you can get a better view because it's hard to do this one-handed in the car. And it's uh, the Frog Brothers right there. And that's pretty cool. Let me see if I can... 1987 established Vampire Hunters right there. And that's pretty cool. I love uh, the Lost Boys, so... I think that's a pretty awesome t-shirt right there. It's got the the fangs right there with the blood on it as well. The skull. So that's actually a pretty awesome shirt. So I'm happy with that. And it's nice quality. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go on to the, the next thing. But yeah, I'm liking the shirt for sure. The shirt is definitely a big plus. Um, I would say the shirt would be 10 to $12 value wise. I think it said it was like nine something on here. <laughs> Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the next thing up, which is the Pop vinyl figure right there. It's uh, Pop Television Sharknado. And that, this is actually pretty cool. Um, this is one of the few Pop figures I wanted to get. I know people will rave about the Pop figures. There's tons of collectors on there. I'm kind of picky, though. And there's only like a handful of ones I was really interested in. This is one of the ones I was interested in. I looked it up on eBay before. I didn't end up bidding on it uh, in the past. And it was like around 10 to 15 bucks for this. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Actually, you know, I'm going to take it out of the package. Why not? This, this might be a little bit of a, a longer episode right here or video <laughs> and Sharknado 2 just came out so that's a you know pretty good timing right there and I'm probably going to display this I know a lot of these people the the pop figures they just you know kind of put them in the box displayed but 
I'm actually going to take them out and put them on proper display. Sorry for all the bad camera work, but doing what I can right now. I don't know how some of you guys film. Uh, if you do, you guys have something that like holds the uh, camera in place while you do that, like a mount. But there you go. I think it's pretty cool looking, actually. It smells like rubber. <laughs> but I really like this one. I'm going to put this on display. There's the base right there. Sharknado. Super cheesy. Sci-fi horror right there. And next up is this thing, which... I am not interested in this at all. Lucky Dolls, ages eight and up. The Zombies, Walking Thread. It's like a keychain right there. And it's uh, Unmatched Madeline is the character. Lucky Juju, True Love. So I guess, uh, you know, it's good luck, voodoo kind of doll. And they got a whole bunch of different other ones right there. I am not interested in that at all, though. Yikes. Got some nice thread hair right there, like a creepy Raggedy Ann. Or Raggedy Andy. Uh, here's a Nightmare Before Christmas trading figure, Series 1. Dr. Uh, Finkelstein, right there. And uh, has all the different characters on there. I think each one of these ones uh, can be different depending on uh, what you get. So this is not one of the ones that's the same. Like I said, the t-shirt, the Rue Morgue magazine, and the pop figure are all the same. And then uh, these little figures are different. I don't know if I'm gonna really, there's the wheelchair right there. And there he is right there inside the little bag. I don't think I'm gonna open this one up. I'm not really interested in this either. But hopefully you can see that. There's his little character in there. Nightmare Before Christmas, pretty good movie. I think it's got a pretty uh, big fan base, so I think that's something that a lot of people will enjoy. I'm just not big on a lot of different figures. I'm kind of picky with that. And this is pretty cool, though. I think I will be keeping this. Um, aliens right here, different pens. I think that's pretty cool. The face hugger down there as well, the egg. I like that. And the Wayland uh, figure right there, or emblem. So, yeah, I like that. I think that's pretty cool. And then last but not least is the Rue Morgue magazine right here. And... This is uh, the August 2014 uh, issue 147 with the crow right there. 20 bittersweet years of the crow. Cast and crew on the legacy of the gothic revenge tale. And a whole bunch of other different things on there. The quiet ones. That's pretty cool. And I'll just go ahead and flip through here real quick. Different things. Jersey Shore Massacre. Uh, I think I'm gonna get this for a review copy, actually. Uh, I don't know if I should interview JWoww or not. She's actually available for interview, <laughs> but maybe, who knows. This looks like a, gonna be, you're gonna love it or hate it. I kinda like some of these cheesy ones. I have the Jersey Shore Shark Attack one, which I thought was a pretty cheesy fun. I enjoyed it, so hopefully if it's like that, it'll be pretty good. There's Phantom of Paradise, so. Some different stuff in there. There's the horror block, I guess it's sponsored right there, so that's why it's part of that. Part of this uh, horror block. So that's pretty cool. Blood Glacier, I really want to check that out. I'm not familiar with Proxy, but I like a lot of IFC horror. So I'll have to look into that as well. Some some beer as well. Newcastle Brown Ale. But yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with the Rue Morgue magazine. Rue Morgue and Horror Hound are my two favorite uh, horror magazines right now. And here's just an advertisement for what you get in here. Here's what's inside. So, that's pretty cool. So there you go, there's my unboxing of my first horror block. I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. Again, uh, Fangoria, I feel like, you know, Chris Alexander took over. I feel like you haven't heard too much recently about Fangoria, though. Uh, but Rue Morgue and Horror Hound are kind of the preeminent horror magazines right now. And uh, I'm definitely happy with the Rue Morgue magazine, the t-shirt, and the Sharknado, because this is one of the few pop uh, figures that I wanted to get, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, these two things, and the pens too, the alien pens are pretty cool. Um, right there, the two figures, the Nightmare Before Christmas one, and then these uh, Zombies ones, I'm not interested in at all. Uh, but I'm gonna give this one another chance. I thought this was about average. The one last month I thought was way better, in my opinion. Uh, so I'm gonna try this one more month, and if it's just lukewarm for me next month, then I'm just gonna cut it off, but uh, you know, 
you see what I got right there? You let me know if you think it's worth 32 bucks. Uh, I do like the idea of it. it's pretty cool. You get a lot of random stuff, uh, you know, uh, for a certain particular value, $32 worth. Although in the, the packaging it says it's like only 21.49 value, but then you know, the shipping. Uh, but I think it's a pretty cool concept and idea. I've seen a lot of these ones, Loot Crate and these other subscription-based services sending out these boxes. So I like that they're doing horror-themed ones now as well. I think this still is one of the best horror-themed uh, subscription-based services where you get the different blocks or boxes or whatever you like to call them. Uh, so there you go. That's my first unboxing of the horror block. Let me know what you guys think of this horror block of goodness right there. And what was your favorite item from this? I think my favorite item is the t-shirt. I think the Frog Brothers t-shirt is pretty awesome. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to rock the heck out of that. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment down below. And hope everyone's doing well. Take care.